going to show you how to make a Canva video that adds um, objects to the screen piece by piece. This is the fastest way to make a very professional looking video for very, very cheap because Canva is very cheap. So this is my final screen. And what's going to happen is this graph is going to build up piece by piece over time. Okay. So I start with the end in mind. This is going to be the very last thing they see. So you build out, you know, that final scene, how all these pieces are going to fit together and look on the final scene. And then you do not animate anything except for things that you want to be animated every single time. So every time a new bar piece is introduced, I do want to um, animate the title and this image. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of those and I'm going to add an animation. I'm just going to do... Uh, I kind of like, always like breathe. Okay, so those will be animated every single time. Everything else will be static unless I apply another animation. Okay, so here's what you do. You duplicate and then you delete the previous content. Okay. Okay, and then you duplicate. You're working backwards here. And now you delete this. And then you duplicate. Okay, and you delete that. Now let me just show you how this is gonna look. So you see how they're just adding and every time they are um, animated. Okay, so you get the point of what's happening here. Now let me go through and get this done. Okay, so now I have copied all of these slides you see and how they're, they're building up. So I've co copied them all. And then I'm going to start with the very first one. And for the very first one, I want a transition. I do not want transitions on any of the others, just on the first one. And that's my first one. And then, oh, and it looks like it applied one here. And I do not want one there. That was an accident. I want the one here. Okay. Then you go through, you're going to animate only that uh, part of the bar chart that shows up. Okay, so you can do that by clicking on them. And then I'm going to choose the same animation every single time. And I like Rise. It's just an easy little thing to do. So I'm going to go through. And meanwhile, also, I'm going to add um, photography or videos that represent what's being said. So I'm going to update this also as I go through. So this is... Um, Petting a dog at 30 units, and I'm going to find um, some videos or images that looks good, okay? And then I'll go to my next one, and I'm going to only animate that which is showing up on that time, remember, and I'm going to use Rise. And then this one was being in the sunshine. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that for all of these. And then I'm going to show you how you can time it to a voiceover. So I went through and I've added images, I've added the title, and I have animated the entrance only uh, for each of these new pieces of my bar graph. And what I mean by that is when you click on this, you can see I've chosen rise, but I've chosen for it to only happen on enter because once it enters, I want it to be static from that point on. So I have went through and done that for every single piece of my bar graph. Now, what I want to show you is how you can time this to a VO. So I've added a, a I mean, voiceover. I've added one here. And so so basically, you go to where you want to adjust it, and you play it. So what is dopamine? Well, like everything in... Okay, so I can see that I'm still on this slide. So basically, you drag that out. And I know that's going to last a while. ...behavior can provide, either immediately or in the future. Measuring the release of... So I know that's still quite some time here. And I'm going to come back and fix this up here in just a minute. 
But I just want to show you how you can time out. Isn't this sunshine? 40. Okay, so this one is sunshine. So I need to go back. Different behaviors and chemicals that increase our levels of dopamine. Petting a dog. Okay, so this is where petting a dog needs to start. So, Let's see if I can get that just right. Petting a dog. 30. Okay, and then I, that needs to be very short. So I'm going to shrink that up. And now I'm ready for my next one. Being outdoors in the sunshine, 40. Okay. And so on. So all you got to do is that. Now there's another cool thing because on this slide, I'm going to do something different. I want to time out each of these objects to pop on to this one slide at different times. And so what I do is I right click an object and I choose show timing and you're going to get this little timing option up here. And then you can time different objects based on the voiceover. So when I play, complicated. it's complicated. Dopamine so I might have several... different things pop up at different based times. On based on so the maybe dopamine I want the reward, reward, the word reward to pop up when I say reward. And so that's just a way to get things to time out per slide. So anyway, that's how quick and easy it is to make a very nice professional video on Canva. You can check out this video I made on my other YouTube channel, which I have linked down in the description. And also like, subscribe, share the video, you know, all that cool shit. Thanks for watching. Bye.